I'm Amy Sherber from Amy's Bread, and today I'm going to show you how to do some things with wet dough. We're going to give dough a turn, we're going to knead coarse ingredients into a dough, and we're going to shape several loaves of bread. If you want to see how to make this dough, you can watch part one of my video. This dough is rustic Italian dough that's been rising for one hour. After the first hour, we give the dough a turn by pulling the dough forward from one side, back to the other, left side in, right side in, and we flip it over. It's sort of like the old-fashioned idea of punching the dough down, but it's much gentler, and it gives the bread a chance to rise again, become stronger, and develop a lot more flavor and uh, fermentation time. Now we're going to knead coarse ingredients into our dough. This soft, rustic Italian dough has been rising for one hour, and we're going to add about a half cup of walnuts to one loaf of bread. These nuts are already toasted, so they taste delicious, but they're very rough and they can cut through the gluten of the dough. So we start by folding the dough in on either side of the, the nuts, and then we move the dough to the countertop and put a little bit of flour down, not too much. We don't want to get the dough to be too dry and floury. And we just fold the dough over the nuts until they're well distributed. They will tear through the skin of the dough, but don't worry, that's okay. We just want to make sure they're evenly spread throughout the dough. When the bread looks nice and smooth, we just take it and put it back in our bowl and let it rise. Now it's time to shape some loaves. First we're going to make rustic Italian bread. And this dough has been rising for about two hours now. We dump the dough onto the counter with a little bit of flour and try to leave it in a big smooth ball. Don't turn it onto itself. So first we'll shape a nice rustic loaf that looks like a ciabatta. We just spread the dough, we cut it in a straight rectangle with a dough cutter, we put plenty of flour on our rising surface, which is a wood board, and we gently lift the dough and flip it over and leave it on our countertop. Now this nice soft dough is full of air bubbles and after it rises, we'll end up with a beautiful rustic loaf like this, all crusty and holy and delicious. The next spread we'll shape is a boule. Now a boule is the French word for a round loaf, and this loaf is easy to shape. We don't want too much flour on the countertop, and we'll just pull the center, the different tips of the dough into the center to start shaping. This is a very sticky wet dough, and we turn it over, we want a dry surface to shape against. We push the dough back and forth in our hands to create surface tension on the loaf and make it nice and round. And you can feel the dough getting stronger and tighter as the bottom of the bread is pulled in. And in the end, we have a beautiful, nice, smooth, round ball. We can put a little bit of flour on top as a decoration and we let it rise for about one and a half hours until it's ready to be baked. Our next bread is a batard. The batard is an oval shaped bread with a pointy tip. So we start by pulling the dough down and forming a little bit of a half moon with our bread dough and gently pulling it in to make this arc shape. Stretch it out a little bit and fold the ends in and pat it down but leave some of the nice hole structure inside. Put a little bit of flour on your hands and begin to seal the loaf by folding it over onto itself takes about two turns, and the last time you fold it over, using the heel of your hand, you'll seal a very nice tight seam at the bottom edge so the loaf doesn't open up. You need your scraper to lift it off the counter, and if you want it longer, you can elongate and taper the tips a little bit. And once you're done, you let it sit and rise. Again, you can coat it with a little bit of flour if you want your loaf to look rustic. And we like to let this rise on a floured cloth until it's fully proofed, and then we'll score it. And bake it. I've just shown you how to turn, divide, and shape several kinds of bread from rustic Italian dough. If you'd like to know how to make the bread, watch part one of my video, or check out my book, Amy's Bread, or go to amysbread.com. Enjoy your baking.